Hello, in this lesson, we are going to cover the advantages and disadvantages of Ethereum compared to Bitcoin Ethereum and Ether as well. So Ethereum is the blockchain implementation and Ether is the currency that is built on top. So if you want to know a bit more information about Ethereum, feel free to check out the previous lesson where I covered what Ethereum actually is and how it differed to Bitcoin. Now we're going to be expanding on that and talking about why you might want to use one over the other. So let me write advantages here and disadvantages over here. And let's keep going down because there's quite a bit to cover today. So first of all, we will cover the advantages. And the first advantage, it allows blocks of transactions. Blocks of transactions can be created faster than Bitcoin. They can also be confirmed faster as well so i guess that's essentially the same thing as also confirm actually i won't write that i don't need to write confirm so confirm created a lot faster you might think in how fast well to put it into perspective under 20 seconds for ethereum and you might think in how does that compare to bitcoin is it 40 seconds is it a minute two minutes no it is 10 minutes for Bitcoin. So as you can see, the actual time it takes to confirm and create a block on the blockchain is a lot shorter. So that's a major advantage. Another advantage is other applications. Other applications outside of currency bitcoin is as of now just restricted to a currency based system whereas ethereum is a blockchain implementation EFA is a currency which is built on top of ethereum but ethereum is it it essentially just allows you to use blockchain so you could use it for the underlying foundation for a messaging platform or emails for example you could use it as the underlying platform for cloud storage so a decentralized a decentralized and distributed network where your files are stored so no one single individual or organization controls your files another advantage is it is easier to mine compared to bitcoin and there's a couple of reasons for this one it's not as big as bitcoin the larger they get the harder they do become to mine but the other reason it's easier to mine is it encourages it encourages individual miners over pools instead of using pools of miners so the way it's designed is it sort of discriminates against pools and tries to avoid prevent them from doing it and it prefers individual miners so individuals with regular gpus you don't need asic cards or anything can use it so that's fantastic another advantage is it uses a turing a turing complete programming language so what does that mean so essentially a turing complete programming language means that it is more flexible and 
and given enough computing power, it can solve anything. So for that reason, the flexibility is great and it allows it to be used for different applications. So we've got a bunch of advantages compared to Bitcoin. But are there any disadvantages? Yeah. As of now, it has a smaller market. Again, I want to emphasize as of now. There are a lot of people within the cryptocurrency sphere within that industry that believe that Ethereum can and will be the dominant platform compared to Bitcoin in the long term due to the fact that it can be used in other applications. But as of now, it does have a smaller market. And as I covered in the previous video, as of October 2017, market cap for ethereum or ether i should say was 30 billion dollars bitcoin was 100 billion dollars so it's only 30 percent of the size of bitcoin but it is growing as well another thing is each coin is worth a lot less some of you might not see that as a disadvantage or an advantage they you might see that okay that's just the way it is but I, I think I'm gonna put that in the disadvantage section for now especially if you are just getting hold of these coins for if you're just doing a like for like comparison then they are lower value compared to Bitcoin but you could obviously just buy more ether coins but as Bitcoin is the is the original blockchain entry and what this essentially means is all other cryptocurrencies will be playing catch up in some form they will ultimately be compared to bitcoin especially for the next few years because that is the original one that is the largest one as well so they will always be saying okay why would i want to use this over bitcoin why 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 even though the advantages might be immense for the application they want they're always going to be in i mean comparing it to bitcoin so that's something to bear in mind and another thing is less people know about it or, or have even heard about it and as the market grows this problem will alleviate but again it's just something worth bearing in mind so we've done that I want to cover a few gray areas as well so I think these can fall into the advantage or disadvantage category depending on how you look at them one is it uses something called a ghost protocol which helps eliminate centralized pool mining which bitcoin still allows you might think that's advantage you might not but i think it's worth mentioning and another gray area is unlimited supply of coins so unlike bitcoin which has a finite supply which is which is meant to be roughly 21 million and it's meant to be all mined roughly 2140 i believe it is or 2141 that emulates gold whereas ethereum or ether because he has unlimited coins that is more like the current fiat currency where they the government can just issue more so you might see that advantage or disadvantage in a way to advantage when you look at it from a multiple application perspective when you look at it from an individual application you might just think oh it's just essentially what the current fiat currency is and if we're trying to get away from that that's a disadvantage but that's it we've covered the advantages the disadvantages and some of the gray areas as well if you have any questions feel free to reach out feel free to go over the video again and check out the different advantages and disadvantages that we covered and as usual thank you for watching and i look forward to seeing you in my next lesson